Welcome to the Voice Coach Podcast, here for all your speaking voice training and guidance. My name is Nick Redman, and I am offering you all sorts of nuggets of wisdom on how to keep your voice in good working order and a true representation of who you are. So if you're a podcaster, presenter, actor, speaker, or voiceover artist, or a general voice geek, you're in good hands. Shall we get started? Welcome back. On the seventh day of tips, Monsieur Voice Coach said to you. Okay, here come the next six tips in my brilliantly pun fueled uh, title of the 12 Days of Tips, Miss. That was the slickest opening I think I've ever recorded. I'm just excited because it's nearly Christmas. Anyone else? Mm, no. Are you? <laughs> And am I sat here wearing a pair of reindeer horns? Maybe I am. Jingle, jingle. See? (laughs) I'll take them off now, though. Otherwise, it'll be editing hell. (laughs) Just one for luck. Anyway, on the seventh day of Christmas, my voice coach said to me, watch that chin. Yeah, now look, we all love to give our attention and our energy to the listener or the audience, right? But it needs to come from the whole body and the whole breath. And it often tends to come from the chin. Just watch next time you're speaking. Do you ever feel like your chin's jutting right out forward? Now that puts a heck of a lot of strain on your poor wee larynx when it's trying to move around during phonation or speaking. So next time you're on the mic or you're performing or you're presenting, notice what's going on with your chin. Is it reaching forwards? Can you ask it not to? Can you think sort of back into your neck spine? Connect with the idea that there's a little string on the inside of your nose and someone's just tugging it back towards the top of the spine. Almost like if you went too far, you'd get big double chins and we don't want that. But the idea that your face is just gently coming backwards towards the spine. Also actually just popping your finger lightly on your chin as if you're thinking, hmm, you know, when kids really act that they're thinking, hmm, just stick your finger on your chin and just gently notice and just notice if that chin tries to reach forward. Talk with your chin forwards and your chin back now. How does it feel? I'm talking, I'm talking, my chin is normal, I'm talking, my chin comes forward, my chin comes forward and then I take my chin back, my chin back, my chin back. How does it feel? Have that experience. Day eight. Okay. I'm just going to say this. I'm taking a preparatory drink. Forget about your fucking diaphragm. There, I said it. That's right. Don't think about breathing with your diaphragm or speaking with your diaphragm. It's all nonsense. Your diaphragm will do what it's designed to do anatomically. It's the primary muscle of inspiration, the in-breath. In terms of talking, it's the rest of the stuff around it you need to think about. Soften those abs on the in-breath. Really embrace that voice belly. (laughs) Release your pelvic floor on the in-breath. Think about that gentle release down. Allow the back to move on the in-breath. Can you get a little bit of movement in the ribs, perhaps, or the spine? And let the words flow from the lower abdominal area when you're talking. Don't try and control your diaphragm or use your diaphragm because you literally can't because there are no proprioceptive nerves there. So we can't feel it. So there's literally nothing you can do in terms of working with your actual diaphragm itself. It's the bits around it that are important for us to think about. And really, it's about releasing. Try it now. Soften and release the body on the in-breath. So that pelvic floor, the tummy, the back, the shoulders... And then lip trail out, feeling that connection from your lower abs, as if someone's got a string in your pelvic floor and behind your belly button, and they're just gently drawing those strings in. It's nice, isn't it? Then release again on the in-breath. Soften. Love it. Nice bit of softening. Okay, day nine. Release, release, release. Remember when you're warming up, the first step should always be release, whether it's a whole body warm up with spine rolls and shoulder release and neck stretches and semi-supine, or whether it's a quick reset of the vocal tract or the articulators after lunch, you need to get rid of that resting tension that you may have from whatever speaking you've done already, or from how wonky you've slept in your bed, or from any tension or anxiety that you've been holding. Get rid of that release that tension, that excess unnecessary tension. 
Center your vocal prep around releasing and then energize. You know, get some tongue stretches in there, massage the jaw, jiggle the lips, jiggle the belly, let stuff go and then get to work. So release, release, release is tip nine. Tip 10, day 10 in tipsmas. Ho, 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 I nearly forgot my whole premise there. (laughs) Keep it playful. Keep perspective and keep it playful and fun. You know, whether it's your warm up or your actual speaking, your warm up needs to be fun and playful. Otherwise, you won't want to do it. Your presenting or your recording needs to be playful or the listener will get bored. Even if it's a serious topic, your mindset needs an element of freedom, of exploration and play in there to keep that vocal energy going. The next time you warm up, try doing it with some dancing around to a fun song. Could be a Christmas tune if you're doing it today. And next time you speak or you record, see what it feels like to have a little internal giggle on the go. How does that affect your voice? Day 11. We're nearing the end. Please don't get too emotional yet. Number 11 is be responsive to yourself. Some days we're more hungry than others. Some days we're more tired than others. Sometimes our voice needs different things on different days. And the first few minutes of your warm up should be spent noticing how your body, your breath, and your voice feel. Then you can pick the exercises your voice needs for your warm up so you're keeping it fresh and relevant. Just close your eyes now and notice your vocal tract. So that's the area from the larynx up to where the sound leaves the body. What might your voice need from you today? How does your breath feel? What's tense? Respond to how you and your voice feel. And here we go. On the 12th day of tips, Miss Your Voice Coach said to you, find a pal. Okay, I know that's the five day five tune of... uh, the 12 days of Christmas, but I I, I just riffed. I just went with it. I just followed my gut instinct. (laughs) Find a friend. This is the best tip ever. More and more as I travel through my journey as both a coach and a user of the voice, accountability is so powerful. And when it comes to forming good vocal routines and understanding your voice and getting feedback you trust, it's exactly the same. You know, you might want to You might want to pay somebody to be your voice friend, aka get some professional coaching. Or you might just want to team up with someone whose input you respect or whose company you enjoy and and meet each day online for a 10 minute warm up or meet once a week for a 30 minute breath session. You know, you could guide each other through it. Whatever works for you. Tag them. No, find a mate and help each other stay accountable to work on your voice because that's the most powerful thing for any development. Accountability, i.e., Someone who's going to kick you up the arse if you don't want to do it. (laughs) Let's not sugarcoat it. Sometimes, sometimes you need someone to be like, come here, you big idiot. Get out of bed and let's do some spine rolls, please. (laughs) All right. Oh, gosh, that was a bit emotional. 12 voice tips over last app and this app in the run up to Christmas. Oh, I feel already now. Only 13 days to go. I don't know if that maths is right, by the way. (laughs) You can have a little Google. When is Christmas? Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to keep the episodes going over Christmas so you won't be on your own, your vocal own, and you can still and should sign up for my New Year New Voice Week in January for a few little voice training sessions that are free and fun and easy just to get you going for next year and to get rid of all that tension after you've been sharing the kitchen with your (laughs) mother-in-law. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I don't share my kitchen with anyone. Stop stirring the pan. (laughs) All right, until next week. Happy bobbling. Is that a thing now? Let's have some bells on the outro. Yay. Check the show notes for links to sign up. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I feel ever so festive. Thanks for listening to the Voice Coach Podcast. For even more support with your speaking voice, head on over to our free community, The Voice and Accent Hub on Facebook. See you in there.